what is up YouTube, Wyatt Fan back again with another video. In today's video, as you can tell the title, is going to be the top five coolest Westerns I've met or something like that. So I've done nicest, I've done my top five, I don't think I've done coolest. So this list is probably going to be similar to a couple of them, but there is a couple of Westerns that, yeah, are just super cool that I've met and my light just went out. Okay, I do apologize for that. I do have um, motion sensor lights in my kitchen. So yeah, it did just go out, but let's get on to the first post. And then like always, this, this is in like no particular order. And I do have the list written down on, like I guess a piece of mail, because I am filming this like with uh by using my phone as a remote because i am trying to get in focus and everything because i am using a different lens so yeah let's get started so the first horse in the cm punk you guys know my still of cm punk if you guys have been following me for a while i flew 700 miles uh to new york city to meet him he was like on the top of my list like the very top of my list even more than john cena or Bunfink or something like that so i did end up meeting him it was pretty cool um I went up to the table. I was actually pretty nervous. I thought I would be a little bit more nervous than I was, but I think I held it together pretty well. Um, I do have a vlog where you can hear a conversation a little bit. Because you couldn't film, I'd like keep my camera down a little bit, but you can still feel it. You just couldn't see anything. So I went up to the table, told him I flew 700 miles to meet him. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee, blah, 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 blah. He was super cool. Um, forget everything you've ever heard about CM Punk. He was such a cool and genuine guy, I could tell. Um, and then, like, like, that was during the signing part. I had him sign uh, his yellow, I think it was GTS t-shirt if I'm mistaken. And then uh, the photo part came and I took the photo or whatever. He, and then like when I was walking away, he patted me on the back and said, uh, see you later Knoxville. So I thought that was pretty cool. He met uh, tons of people and then like remembered what I told him after all those people. Okay, so let's move on to the next post. The next post is Samoa Joe. Um, if you guys know, I've met Samoa Joe twice. I met him once at Woodbuzz Award in Nashville. And I met him again at Black Smith for Access. So if you guys have ever heard of the uh, organization Pops for Patients, they basically donate Pops to sick kids, like taking the hospitals and stuff. Basically give sick kids um, a little bit of joy by giving them Funko Pops, something to play with. So Samoa Joe was actually super good friends with the owner, Landy. So uh, the last time I met him at Black Smith Access, him and I actually talked about that a little bit. He said Wayne was a pretty cool guy, so, and then talked about pop patients a little bit, so that was pretty cool. He actually took the time out to talk about something that I wanted to talk about. Okay, so next person is Cody Rhodes. If you guys have ever got the chance to meet Cody Rhodes, or if you guys got that, well, do get the chance to meet Cody Rhodes, I highly recommend it. He's such a cool guy. Generally, easily one of the like, nicest Westerns I've ever met. He's just such a, so he just like so down to earth. But yeah, so I met him at, at a Next Gen Wrestling show back in, I think, June, it was June or May of 2017. Um, I met Eden, I actually got to the show a little bit too late to meet Cody Rhodes. So I was asking Eden if, or not Eden, Blandy, yeah, Blandy, if uh, Cody was gonna like, come back up for signing, and she said no, he had to go for his match. So I was kind of bummed out since that was the only reason I actually went to the show. So the end of the show rolled around and I was talking to like the social media manager for like the promotion and all that kind of stuff. And then out of the corner of my eye, I see Cody's over there like signing a banner or whatever because uh, they were uh, doing this, I guess, uh, fundraiser or whatever to uh, like having like all like top stars that they had that night sign this band on they were auction it off and I guess give the money to charity or if it was I think it might have even been the local children's hospital. So I went over there, I asked Cody if I could have a picture and he said yes. That was pretty cool. He didn't have to like take a picture with me, especially for me not paying. But like he would have told me I had to pay or whatever, I thought obviously would have, like without a doubt, but him like not making me pay or anything was pretty cool. So the next person is RVD. I met um, RVD or uh, Webber Sakhan in New Orleans. He was such a cool guy. You could obviously tell he was high, but he just seemed super genuine. Um, I told him my name and everything. It was just like a, a super chill moment. And then uh, as I was leaving Muscle Con and going back to the hotel to wait for WrestleMania, he uh, was like walking out with, I don't know who it was. It might've been his manager or something. And he said, uh, see you later, Wyatt. So I thought that was pretty cool. He met a couple people after me and then was still able, was still able to remember my name after that and even said see you later and the last 
but not least is Wadrick Strong. If you guys ever get the chance to meet Wadrick Strong, which is anyone in the, in the Undisputed Era, I highly recommend it. They're all such genuine guys. And but Wadrick kind of stood out to me a little bit more. So I've actually basically technically met Wadrick twice. I met him, or I got a selfie with him in my Belly Force NXT show. That was pretty cool. And then I met him again at um, Bus Money Access. And went out of his way to like ask, ask everyone what their name was and how they wore and like what they were from and stuff. And I thought that was really cool because he was like, at that time, he was like one of the Belly Force wrestlers that would like ask me what my name is and like take the time out to like ask me a couple questions. But of course, I do go up to wrestlers and I'm like, how are you? Blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. All the stuff you're supposed to say when meeting someone, obviously. But yeah, him just taking the time out and uh, like asking me what my name was and stuff. I thought that was super cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and tell me if you guys um, like some of the cool wrestlers you guys have met and who was the coolest. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe, hope you guys have a good day.